Hey all, welcome to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. This is another class of how to become system administrator. And in this class, I am going to guide you about how to install Windows Server 2022. Because you know that in the latest environment, as per the market requirement, most of organization trying to upgrade their existing server from 2019 to 2022. Because the 2022 server give give us a more option in compare of 2019 and 2016. so what i'm going to do in 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 entire playlist of how to become system administrator i'm going to guide you about how to use the features of server 2022 because you should know about if if you are preparing yourself for the system administrator if any kind of interview schedule for you so definitely they are going to ask you questions related to the latest version of server operating system so i'm 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 trying to give you the complete information with practical how to handle uh server 2022 so let me move ourselves to the screen but before that if you are new on my youtube channel if you are watching my video first time do subscribe because teach me cloud is a single technique and training based youtube channel that give you 100% live practical based videos without skip any step i hope you guys are able to see my screen agenda is totally clear like we already discussed about basic of desktop issues basic of networking so now in the same playlist we need to discuss about the server management as well so in case of server management the really important part you must need to know about the history of server right so what i'm going to do to understand about the server activity let me divide it into two different part one is totally related to the server hardware right and the second server software the meaning of server software i'm talking about the different types of uh, server operating systems which are available in the market and how we can utilize these uh, different types of server os in the hardware the really important part server motherboard is totally different from the normal desktop and laptop motherboard because the server motherboard can give us option to connect more than one processor one more than one cpu you can mount on your server motherboard So let me give you example of form factor of server motherboard. Like it, this is our server motherboard, and definitely most of the motherboard can give you access, give 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 us option to connect more than one processor, because you know that server is responsible to handle lots of resources, lots of other resources apart from the client operating system. Server is also responsible to handle your database. Server is responsible to manage your network printer, share printer, any other types of uh, virtualization that you are going to establish or you have already established. So, if you really want to control and manage the virtualization infrastructure, server also come into the picture. So, let me guide you about the core component and core uh, uh, devices. You can say that are peripherals that connected with our server motherboard. So, you will find minimum. Two to four sockets, yes, sockets of uh, CPU. You will find up to eight to twelve slots, right? And it will give us option of minimum two PSU. I'm talking about power supply unit. It will give us access of ILO or ID rack, right? So we'll discuss about because they are going to ask you question. What is work of ILO and ID rack? So as a server admin, you should know about uh, the work of ILO and uh, uh, ID rack. And uh, the another part, it give us a UEFI BIOS access, and uh, you can configure hardware RAID in our server machine as well, right? So these all are the points are totally related to the hardware. and let's talk about the server operating system so we have already discussed about the first windows server introduced by microsoft in year of 1995 with name of nt server right so from nt server from 1995 to till 2024 they they introduced they launched multiple different types of server or multiple version of server operating system like as a, we are able to find server 2000 2003 right server 2k8 i'm talking about server 2008 2012 2016 and server 2019 and the latest one is server 2022 and they are going to launch server 2025 as well right 
so this is the latest one you can say that server 2025 is the latest version of server that uh, 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 that microsoft planning to launch uh, uh, maybe by end of this year you will get the access of server 2025 full flash okay so this is the basic information let's talk about the work of uh, uh, sockets and slots so socket is basically used to mount the cpu the processor that you want to connect with your motherboard you always put it into the socket and slot is applicable to connect ram not only the ram you can connect your uh, kind of pci slot that help us to connect usb or graphic related uh, card you want to connect so you can directly mount to the slot psu is a power supply unit you can say that earlier it was uh, smps uh means minimum two psu you will find in 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 the kind of cabinet of our server machine if you open the server machine definitely you will get the uh, two different types of uh, power supply unit available next let's talk about the ilo and id rack so very uh, re re really uh, important uh, kind of uh, ports are available in server computer ilo is uh, basically based on hp server means uh, most of the HP server can give you. Let's try to understand about the concept of ILO port. So, as per the name suggests, it is applicable for HP server and that help us whenever we configure the ILO port, we are able to access our server machine remotely from anywhere. So, not only the operating system I'm talking about, you can access the hardware of your server. You can restart your machine, you can you can stop your machine, you can open the BIOS, you can install the operating system from remotely. Let me give you one example. For example, this is your organization or client's infrastructure that established in location of maybe USA, right? And you are in India location like this is your own machine, this is your workstation and with the help of uh, uh, your workstation and in the location of India, you are trying to configure and manage your server computer, right? So, to, to perform this particular task, what you need to do, you must need to configure ILO port and once you configure the ILO port, we are able to manage restart server, start server and open BIOS setting and install new operating system. Think about Remotely, we are able to open and set up the BIOS. Remotely, we are able to install the operating system to the server that is established by client in location of USA. So, this is really important. As it is, ID Rack can also perform the same task. But the ID Rack is basically introduced by Dell server, right? ILO port is basically copyrighted from HP, and uh, ID Rack is basically managed by uh, Dell company. I hope you guys are okay. UEFI BIOS, we already discussed about the work of UEFI. Uh, this is the latest version of BIOS that help us to configure lots of things that contain security, that help us to manage our storage in format of MVR and GPT, both options you can use. And you can configure the hardware RAID as well, means directly you can configure hardware RAID to the machine by using the BIOS setup that help us to protect our operating system. So, I hope you guys are okay with these points. So, what I'm going to do, let me show you the practical, how to install. Try to understand about uh, the installation of server 2022. So, what I did, I have already installed like as a VMware workstation and by using the VMware workstation, we are going to install our server 2022. And after that, we'll discuss about each and every uh, each and every option or services which are available in server machine, like Active Directory management and all. So let me take the RDP of our machine and then proceed for the next step.
Okay, I hope you guys are able to see my uh, workstation screen. So I have already installed BMB workstation. So by using BMB workstation, let me install server 2022. And after that, we are going to proceed and perform all the task, right? So although I have already installed, everything is running properly, but let me show you the procedure how to install from fresh. Very basic steps required. You just need to click on file and again need to click on virtual machine. I wanted to proceed with the uh, custom and advanced next next I will install operating system later proceed with next I am using server BMB workstation 17 pro so we are able to find the option of server 2022 set the location I don't I'm going to proceed with the same and the hardware that you need to provide minimum 8 GB to get a better performance and uh, I want to use bridge connection okay so we successfully created hardware uh, the hard disk required 60 gig virtual machine is ready to use and uh, let me turn on and try to add the ISO image in this machine to install our server 22 22 no operating system find found just right click on the uh, computer name go to the settings under the settings CD and DVD click connect use ISO image browse under the browse, we just need to open a kind of software under the software server operating system and select WinServer 2022. Open it, click OK and just right click and restart. Try to boot from CD, right? Definitely, we need to boot from the CD to install a new version of server operating system. So guys, this is the method that you can use to install server operating system. Like if you have a good configuration based machine like it's a 8 gig RAM based laptop and with the minimum 20 to 256 uh, uh, GB of SSD, then we can set up our environment. Proceed with next, very basic steps required to install server 2022. It's just like as a uh, server uh, 2019 and 2016, no gap. In the in, in, we talk about the procedures, so no difference between uh, server 2019 and 2022. So let's wait for a few more minutes. It will ask us few like as uh, steps required that you need to provide multiple version of server operating systems. We always proceed with the Windows Server 2022 data center evaluation with desktop experience. Click next. I accept the Microsoft software license. Next, custom install 60 gig of hard drive that we provided. We just need to proceed. So, guys, this is the step. These all are the steps required to install Server 2022. I hope you guys are okay and understand about the concept. So, this is day one of our Server 2022 in the part of uh, in the playlist of how to become system administrator. I hope you guys are okay with the topics or steps that we used. Uh, let me know if you feel like if you have any question or doubt, let me know. You can drop a comment and you can also also WhatsApp me, right? So let's connect in next class and discuss more about uh, how to become system administrator with server 2022. Take care guys. Bye-bye and do subscribe your auntie's channel.